Welcome to another Hearts for Learning maths game. This game is Race to 100. A great game to support children with their understanding of the place value system. For this game, you'll need the place value chart with embedded tens frames handout, a selection of base 10, ones and tens, and a 10 sided dice. To play the game, you roll the dice and then add into the first tens frame the number of ones rolled. You keep rolling the dice, adding the number of ones rolled until you get to 10, or slightly more than 10 ones. Once you have 10, or slightly more than 10 ones, you can regroup 10 of the ones for a 10. The first time you do this, place the 10 ones next to a 10 rod, proving that they are exactly the same. Every time a tens frame is full of ones, regrouping can take place. It's very important that the child realises that the value represented before and after the regrouping is the same. The speaking frame provided helps the child explain what is taking place during the regrouping. The number of ones and the number of tens change, but the total value represented does not. Understanding this is essential when learning about our place value system. So for the regrouping that has just taken place, the child will say, I can see the tens frame is full. I have ten ones. That is ten. I can regroup ten ones for one ten. I now have one ten. The value represented is still ten. Once the regrouping is done and has been explained, continue to roll the dice, adding to the total created so far. Keep rolling until you have at least 10 ones in the tens frames. When you have more than 10 ones, regrouping will need to take place again. However, before you regroup, get the child to tell you the value represented. Use the first half of the speaking frame. I can see the tens frame is full. I have one 10 and 11 ones. That is 21. Once the value represented by the base 10 is confirmed, Regrouping can take place again. As before, ten ones can be regrouped and replaced with a tens rod. Return to the speaking frame, completing the first part and the second part. I can see the tens frame was full. I had one to n and eleven ones. That was twenty one. I can regroup ten ones for a ten. I now have two tens and a one. The value represented is still 21. As before, once the regrouping is done, continue to roll the dice, adding the number of ones rolled into the tens frame. Keep going until a tens frame is full. When the tens frame is full, you'll be ready to regroup again. Use the first half of the speaking frame to clarify the amount represented by the base 10. I can see the tens frame is full. I have two tens and 15 ones. That is 35. Again, 10 ones can be regrouped for a 10. Take the 10 ones away and replace it with a base 10 tens rod. Use the speaking frame to reinforce that even though the base 10 equipment has changed, the value has not. I could see the tens frame was full. I had two tens and 15 ones. That was 35. I can regroup 10 ones for a 10. I now have three tens and five ones. The value represented is still 35. Once the regrouping has taken place, you may wish to move any remaining ones up into the top tens frame. You don't have to do this, but sometimes children find it easier. You keep rolling and regrouping for as long as you want to. The game suggests that you can race to 100, but you don't necessarily have to. You can play the game for a set period of time or a smaller target number. The key thing to remember when playing this game is that when regrouping take place, the same number is represented two different ways. The speaking frame supports this and ensures that the children can articulate the same value represented in two different ways. This is a good game to play over and over again, 
not only when focusing on place value, but it's really good to play just before you do formal written addition. The game can also be adapted, so that rather than counting up to 100, you could start with a set target, say 50, and count down to zero. In this case, the children would have to regroup a 10 for 10 ones to be able to count down. This is equally as important as counting up. I hope you really enjoy playing this game with your children. I think it's a really good one. If you want to find out more about what the Hearts for Learning Maths team is up to, you can follow us on Twitter at Hearts Maths. You can join our Essential Maths Primary Maths group on Facebook and we have a growing number of games videos that you can watch on our YouTube channel.